Hello, boys and girls. Today, we're going to relate fractions, decimals, and money. First problem. Together, Julie and Sarah have a dollar in quarters, and they want to share the quarters equally. And we want to know how many quarters should each girl get and how much money is this. So whenever we're dealing with money, we need to remember that $1 is equivalent to 100 cents. A quarter is equal to 25 cents, a dime is 10 cents, and a penny is one cent. So now we're going to use a model, and we are going to look at four quarters, which is equivalent to a dollar, each quarter being 25 cents. So if we look over here, we'll see that one quarter is 25 out of 100. So 25 hundredths, so you can see there's 25 out of 100 because one dollar is 100. That's why there's 25 cents out of 100 cents or it's equivalent to one-fourth of a dollar because there's one, two, three, four quarters, so it's one-fourth of that whole dollar. Now, if I have two quarters, 25 plus 25 is equivalent to 50, so that's 50 out of 100 cents, or two-fourths, or half of a dollar because two out of four is one-half of a dollar. So now if I look at a half of a dollar, that's equivalent to 50 cents, or we can write it 50 cents. So each girl should receive two quarters. So each girl gets two quarters, or 50 cents. So now let's look at some examples, and we're going to use money to model decimals. So if I have a dollar, that means that I have 100 pennies. So a dollar is equivalent to 100 cents. So now if I have 10 dimes, that's equal to $1. Because if we skip count by tens, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. It took me 10 skips to get to 100 counting by tens. So like I said again, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And we just talked about how 100 pennies is equivalent to $1. So one dime, one dime, so you look here, we circled one-tenth of this, which is equal to one-tenth or ten-hundredths of a dollar. So it is 10 cents or 10 cents. Now if I have 100 pennies, I have one whole dollar. But if I only have one penny, I have one out of 100, one hundredth, or 0 .01, which is one hundredth of a dollar. So I have 0 .01, or one cent. Now it is very important that you do not write point .1 in this instance, because this would mean this would be the equivalent to 10 cents. This would mean I have one tenth, which would be again here, one whole tenth, because this is in our tenths place. So remember our decimal, and we have tenth, and then we have hundredth. Our tenths and our hundredths. So here, if I put my one here, that means I have one tenth. If I put a zero here and then a one, that means I have one hundredth. And a penny is one hundredth. It's not one tenth. Please pause the video and copy these samples down. So now we're going to think of dollars as ones, dimes as tenths, and pennies as hundredths. So if I have one dollar, five dimes and six pennies as shown by our little sample here. So I have a dollar and 56 cents. That means I have one whole dollar. I have five dimes, which is 50 cents, and six pennies, which is six cents. So a hundred pennies are in a dollar. So one dollar and 56 cents is equivalent to 156 pennies. So, one and fifty six hundredths dollars is there are hundred ten one hundred hundredths in one one. So one and fifty six is equivalent to one and fifty six hundredths. 
So let's look at some more examples. We're going to shade the decimal model to show the amount, the money amount. Then we're going to write the money amount and a fraction in terms of dollars. So let's look here. I have 10, 15, 20, 21. So I'm going to shade in 21 hundredths. So there we go. I shaded in 21 hundredths. So they see they've already written the fraction for me as 21 hundredths or 21 hundredths. Now, <clears throat> since we're using money, we'll put a dollar sign in the front of it. Now we're looking here. We have a whole dollar. So this is one whole dollar, quarter, two dimes, and a penny. So we have a dollar, 25, 35, 45, 46. So we've one whole, and we have 46. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I have $1.46 or 1 and 46 hundredths dollars. So now you're going to give this a try and then pause the video, give it a try, and then check back to see if your work was correct. So right now we're going to write the total money amount. Then write the amount as a fraction or a mixed number and a decimal in terms of dollars. So now when I start counting, I start counting with the larger coins. So I have 75 cents because I have three quarters. So I have 75 cents. So 25, 50, 75. Then I have 85, 95, then 105. Then I have 106, 107, 108, and 109. So, I have a dollar and nine cents. So, we're going to write the money as a fraction uh, or a mixed number. So, we're going to write the total money amount right here. So, that's what we just did. And now, we're going to write this amount as a fraction or a mixed number. So, I know that I have a whole dollar and I have nine out of 100 of another dollar. Then I'm going to write it as a decimal. One and nine hundredths. Good luck.